Hey, 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 it is Chef Evelyn here, and I wanted to start the year off with a video for my fellow chefs out there. So this is another video in my Chefpreneurship series. So if you are a chef or a culinary business owner or an aspiring culinary business owner, you can watch all the videos that are in this playlist that you're watching right now that will help you grow or start or expand your culinary brand. So in this video, I wanna talk about three ways to make more money in your chef business this year, right? So it's January and while, you know, Happy New Year, while it's not at the beginning of January, still better late than never. So I wanted to bring you this video and share with you three quick ways that you can make more money in your business this year. The first way, which I think is obviously the most common way that people think about, is to just get more clients. So you can increase your marketing, you can analyze your marketing to see what was working and spend more energy on that, and analyze your marketing to see what's not working and stop doing that. And you obviously need to have the metrics in place to know what's working, what's not working, and so that uh, you can figure out what to amp up, what to increase, but to get more clients. And so I think that's the easiest way. But there's two more ways to make money, in your extra money or additional money in your business this year. And the first, the second one is to increase your prices. A lot of times I see with chefs is that they are significantly undercharging for their products and services. And what we do, particularly if you are a chef and you have a business, whether you are going into people's homes, whether you are doing dinner parties, catering, uh, personal chefing, private chefing, teaching classes, you know, hosting videos, writing recipes, reviewing restaurants, whatever you're doing, it's a very personalized and highly skilled service. And the reason why some chefs struggle to price correctly is because it comes so easy to you. And so sometimes we don't do a really good job of putting an accurate price on the value that we're providing our clients and our customers. So the second thing that you can do is to increase your prices. And a lot of times, I can tell you, you probably need to increase your prices way more than you think. And a lot of times I'll have chefs ask me, hey, you know, I'm just starting out. Should I start with low prices? No. One, why does anybody need to know that you're just starting out? And two, if you start at low prices, at what point will you decide that your products or services are worth more? You base your price not about how long you've been in business. You base your price on the value that you're offering and the experience that you're offering. That's what you base your prices on. And then the third way, which is my favorite way. So my my this the third way that I'm about to share is my favorite way. Increasing your prices is my second favorite way. But this is my absolute most favorite way to bring an additional income into your culinary business is to have multiple streams of income. A lot of chefs, a lot of culinary business owners have one primary source of income for their business and it's either selling their time through being a personal chef or a private chef or catering or doing dinner parties or it's through one product. Maybe you do desserts, maybe you do wedding cakes, maybe you do something very specific like that. But both of those are very labor intensive. And at some point, there's gonna be a cap on how much you can make because there's only so many of you, right? Or so much time that you have. But by increasing the income streams that you have in your business, you can take the same skill set, the same information that you're using to offer your product or service to offer additional products or services. One of the things that I teach in my course, Chef Space, how to create additional income in your chef business in five weeks. I talk about the five different income streams I think every chef should have in their business and how you can incorporate at least up to two or three in those and get started making additional income in the next couple of weeks. So if you want information about that course, it's in the description box below. But wanted to start the year off with three ways to increase money in your, to increase revenue, excuse me, profits, uh, have more sales in your chef business in this year. And so let me know your questions down below. If you're not part of the Chefpreneur Society, I encourage you to join. If you are watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications because you're not going to miss all the videos that I upload under the Chefpreneurship series. So keep watching another video in this series and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.